Hey guys, it's Daniel from Laser Gaming. In this video, I'll be reviewing the M1918 Automatico submachine gun in Battlefield 1. This is the second submachine gun that I am reviewing. And if you want a comparison between these two weapons, tell me down below in the comments. And stay tuned for a bunch more weapon reviews and much more in-depth content on Battlefield 1. So this weapon is the more close quarters weapons of all three SMGs and it absolutely melts up close, but it is a very short range that it melts. So I'm going to be going over the stats first and then I'll talk about the variants, give you my opinion on this gun and talk about a little bit of history about this weapon also. So this weapon does 23 max damage up close up until only 3 meters, which is just ridiculous that the drop off starts at only 3 meters. You're going to drop below that 5 shot kill at around 12 meters and then after 12 meters it drops all the way down to 12 minimum damage at 38 meters. So this weapon is a 5 to 8 shot kill and or 5 to 9 shot kill actually and within 14 meters you'll be getting that 5 shot kill which is actually a decent range for a 5 shot kill considering how fast this fire weapons and 900 rounds per minute which is extremely fast, fastest in the game by a mile, um, especially when compared to the MP18, which I reviewed two days ago, which fires at 550 rounds per minute, and then the Hell Regal, which fires at 650 rounds per minute. So this weapon is going to be your close quarters beast. Um, it's going to be the weapon that will dominate on domination, um, no pun intended, rush, your close quarters game modes, and then obviously on crazy close quarters maps on Conquest, like Amiens, as well as Argon Forest, which I hear is a crazy close quarters map that will probably be streaming um, on launch day, which is in about two days, I believe, or even tomorrow. So the 380 meters per second muzzle velocity obviously isn't going to make this the best at range, and the recoil isn't as well. This has extremely high recoil, and I mean, in close quarters, this is going to be pretty manageable. You can see that if you're able to really focus on controlling it, it's not too bad, but once you get beyond those medium ranges, especially with how small the magazine is at only 25 rounds, the slow muzzle velocity and the fast fire rate, you just burn through ammo and it makes it really hard to take out enemies at anything beyond probably 30 meters, um, which is a pretty good effective range, but I'd say the real effective range of this weapon is within 15 meters, because within there, you're going to be getting around that 5 shot kill and you can absolutely dominate your enemies. Has 12 meters per second muzzle velocity standard around SMGs. The reload is 2.1 seconds short as you take that awkward looking magazine off the top of the gun and a very long 3.4 second long reload, which you'll actually be running into a lot because of how fast you burn through the ammo. And the first shot recoil on all variants is 2.5 times so the only reason why I didn't list the recoil is because that does actually change between the variants but all these statistics are identical with all three variants of this weapon so the 2.5 2.65 times first shot recoil extremely high so meaning that whenever you take your first shot or try to tap fire this weapon you're gonna get more than two and a half times the recoil that you got previously which is absolutely ridiculous um, when trying to control recoil on this gun. So I'd recommend just firing it full auto rather than tap firing. So the three variants that there are for this gun are the trench variant, which has the best hip fire, and obviously it has a bayonet on the end. It's really good for close quarters. This one, you'll be, you really don't even need to aim down sights within 15 meters on this one. You can just absolutely melt people. Then the factory is the standard version where you can see all the gameplay is from the factory version. And then the Storm version is the one that has the least recoil. It actually has like 33% less recoil than the two other variants, which will make it a bit more versatile and the best overall variant for this weapon. And now we're going to get into a bit of history of the M1918. So the Beretta model 1918 was a submachine gun that entered service in 1918 with the Italian Armed Forces. Designed initially as a semi-automatic rifle, the weapon came with an overhead inserted magazine. An unconventional design based on the simplicity of allowing a spent round to be replaced using only gravity. So instead of actually having a spring in the magazine, it can just sort of fall into the chamber uh, due to gravity. The gun was made from half of a Villar Perosa aircraft submachine gun, and as such is considered the first submachine gun issued to and used by the Italian Armed Forces, obviously in World War I. 
and it is possibly the first SMG used as a general issue combat weapon. So not sort of as a experimental weapon, but as a general issue to all people within the military. So another variant was the model 191830 with the magazine inserted underneath and it came with a bayonet. And this was used by the Argentinian, Argentinian army. Now guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Obviously there aren't really too many recommendations I can make for this gun. Um, run a long range pistol, I'd recommend using the AT rocket to take out those enemies at long range because this you will be effective in close quarters with this weapon. This is the close quarters submachine gun and it serves that role pretty well with its extremely fast fire rate and okay damage in close quarters. Um, if you want a bit more long range shooting, I recommend the Hell Regal or the MP18. But again, if you want comparisons with those weapons, tell me down below in the comments because I used to do weapon comparisons a lot for Battlefield Hardline and I'm thinking of bringing that back for this game. Tell me what weapon you want me to review next. But that's what it was for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.